bit nervous actually, just about to start. It always happens to me, doesn't it? So, right, are we on seven? I think we are on seven o'clock. Hello, hello, hello. How is everybody doing this evening? Gonna pop a little bit of music on. How's everyone's days going? Oh, we've got a first. Hello, hello, we've got 22 on at the moment. Nice, so. So today, I'm gonna be giving myself a little skin fade on the back and sides, giving a little freshen up through there, and then in terms of the top, a little demo of how to do that. On a real high at the moment, just finished doing the live stream on TikTok, which they'd sort of programmed for me. So that was so much fun. I think, I guess, because it's like an official TikTok live, they must push, they must push it into the feed a little bit more so more people actually see it. So there was so much, there was so many people that were in there watching it today. I think it was definitely like the most amount of people that I've had in a live stream before. It was really engaged. I think the amount of times that I saw a bum hole shave tutorial was definitely in the thousands. <laughs> I think definitely uh, I need to do a video for that because Everybody seems to want it and I promised it all and I still haven't done it yet. <laughs> really fun day actually seeing the new shop and the new place today. So obviously as you've seen the video there and in like the b-roll at the start obviously it's Johnny's Chop Shop Barbers. So obviously they sell all their products in boots. Um, obviously there's that one barber shop there. I'm obviously going to be downstairs in that basement area. I'm looking forward to now. I'm going to get home now. I'm going to edit. So I did like an ASMR style haircut today on like a doll's head. See if that works out. See if it comes out okay on video or not. But I'm going to be in bed tonight and I'm going to search for all oh, like the different microphones, like the different lights. See, we need to work out like the soundproofing. Well, the soundproofing, I think that what we're going to do for like a bit of it is these, these wood veneers where they're like little slats, which are like really in fashion at the moment. The ones that sort of I've seen and that Steve has seen, they're actually soundproofed ones as well. So that obviously makes life way easier having them because they sort of cover the wall, but also soundproof it as well. So that makes life way easier. Uh, so excited. I'm gonna, I can't wait to get home now to, to go and have a little look at this and sort of try and find like the proper microphone and find out how we soundproof the roof or the, like the ceiling and stuff. So yeah, mega, mega excited for it. Beat oh, it's gonna be out of a chest. Barber, barber setting. I thought it'd look a lot better than just in my bathroom for sure. So, so you'll, you'll you'll enjoy the setting because I've actually had to get a beer case and then a, a towel there to be able to set it up high enough for everything in there. So this is the this is the uh, the barber shop which we have here. So this is where I cut hair out of. So we have the chair. Obviously, I've been making the, the drinks there. We've got the setup on the stove. Perfect, perfect. So now the next step is to create. A nice lava. So just finished doing this shaving masterclass on a Saturday morning with what was like a, I think like a private members group. I think they're based in Mayfair, but obviously it was all done online. So we did it in the shops, showing them how to use like a cutthroat razor. They had like this uh, mixologist showing us how to do like these breakfast cocktails. I had a few of that, I'll be honest, I'm, I'm absolutely pissed right now. I had these, it was the, one of the nicest cocktails I've ever had. It was like marmalade. Um, you mix that with lemon juice that then like mixes down and like, that then turns into like a sort of syrup style. Then you add uh, orange juice, then you add a, a little bit of a gin, shake it all up together with like the ice. It was so nice, I'll be honest. I had a couple more after I was editing a video and it's about one o'clock right now and I'm, I wouldn't say I'm struggling to walk in a line, but I'm definitely merry, shall we say. So I'm gonna go home now, try and get this video edited, which because 
got a little bit drunk I couldn't work out how to do something which ordinarily would be very basic and very simple so I'm gonna get home now maybe sober up a little bit on the way back home get that edited and I think maybe I'm gonna persuade Kasia to have a little little drinky poo with me as well because we were working out last last Friday was the first time that we'd had a drink since since uh, since New Year's Eve and that was only we only had two little cans of like little cocktails which were like low percentage of like we didn't even get merry last week so this is like the first time which i've had like a proper drink this year i don't think even on new year's we even had a proper drink so i'm going to try and persuade cash to have a little drinky poo with me and uh see how the day goes i don't think i've ever felt this tipsy at sort of this time of the day it's always been much more much later in the evening so we'll see how much see how well i last and how long into the day that i last <laughs> Yesterday at that event, I ended up having, well, I, ended up, I think I ended up having five of them and they went down so well. I got back home about half one and then was out fast asleep on the, on the bed for a, a good two hours, I would say. So I knew if I was going to sleep, I'd wake up from that and just feel like death and, and felt absolutely awful then for about an hour. I'm a massive F1 fan and on Netflix, the, the new Drive to Survive series has come out. So I watched a few of those episodes yesterday. Watched a couple in bed this morning as well. And I've got to be honest, I just can't wait for the seasons to start again. In the background, what do we think of this? So this this went up today. Okay, so we've got these prints that we had in the bedroom. It was a woman in a brand called Tom Pigeon, but this is obviously like a, a thing that goes up onto the wall. It's actually like a collaboration with her, the Tom Pigeon. It's it's done with Made, like a, a website based in the UK. Really cool stuff. And also this week, Kasha got these. So I bought these from Made a couple of weeks ago. These came, but we didn't have any plants. So Kasha ordered, ordered these. So we got these, which are looking lovely at the moment. Now we're just left with this wall to fill. We're gonna get a couple of prints and put them framed, get them up on there. So I think we'd have three, so sort of like, so one in the center, one side, either side of it. I think that'll look pretty cool and then it should be all finished in here. So with regards to the shop, I thought I'd do a little drawing, see if we can try and do a little visualization of, of how it's all gonna set out and how it's all gonna be. So we've got this back wall here. This way we're gonna have mirror, uh, like the sink in front of it. Then through here, there's these wooden slats which we're going to have on the wall going there. Let's try and find it online. So that's going to be the back wall there. It's going to have this sort of all going on the back wall. So that's going to be on here and then it's going to be on the ceiling as well. Here, this is when, where, we, where we've got that other wall. This is where we've got the, the window where it's, it's coming down. And then we've got this other, other door. We're also then going to put some of these wooden slats on that door there to be able to then soundproof that out. We're going to have to try and find come up with like something that slots into this because obviously we want to keep all the daylight sort of coming through there but we're gonna have to find something that almost slots in there to be able to soundproof it this wall here there's then like a little cubby hole in the wall now i think we can do this in like a concrete effect coming in through here so this is going to be we're gonna have to try and find some way of soundproofing that as well and almost like little boxes where they're going to be sort of like led lights in there's so like a white led um and you sort of, if you sort of think of like uh, a skateboarding shop where they've got the like the sneakers individually like sort of like in the boxes we think we're going to do that with like johnny's products and another little art Facts that sort of go with, with the shop so the whole sort of feel of it is kind of like a, a cool sort of skateboardy shop so something like kith something like champion something like supreme that sort of feel where it's like like really modern looking really fresh looking also then on this wall at this back wall here then we're gonna have like little sort of shelves going on it they're gonna have like little little plants coming off it like so so coming in through there little thing so there's also gonna be little artifacts on there so there's probably gonna be like a, a johnny's chop shop logo above somewhere maybe even little sort of like products on, on on the wall in terms of it there as well this back wall here this is going to be concrete effect and then there's going to be like a johnny's chop shop neon white neon sign on the back wall then we're going to have like a couple of chairs so chair either side little table and that's then where obviously so if anyone's going to come in and wait for the haircuts that's where that's going to be obviously we're going to have the the main chair obviously they're right in, in, in the center. Um, and the one I'm looking for at the moment is this one from Belmont, which looks cool as hell. It's like the OG of barber chairs, like the Apollo 2, and they're just so cool. And it's in like a light gray, which I've found. So it's that one there, I think it look really cool. I love how it's like really simple, really nice and clean. I'm gonna be in touch with Belmont, trying to get that sorted out this week. In terms of the ceiling, we're gonna have like these nice sort of strip lights coming on it. 
the likes that we've got is going to be something like this on the ceiling where it's got like the cross. So we have like just that across our ceiling. So it stretches out really nice sort of room really nicely. It's going to be a couple of different camera shots of what we're doing with everything. So obviously here, obviously we'll be doing a shot where um, I'll be talking about different haircuts. We're going to have like a, a sort of a shotgun mic coming down here so we can hear the both of us in this area. I'll be doing then my shaves in this area. Obviously I'll be doing the shaves when I'm shaving someone else there in that area as well. I'll be doing my shaves in here so we're going to have to get some sort of lighting here and here and then probably we're going to get some like soft boxes in the corner in all four of the corners so that it obviously just lights the room up really nicely next sort of scene we're going to do is kind of like a podcast here so i'll be talking with someone either side we'll have like the podcast uh, we'll have the mic set up on the on the table and then the final one which we the final shot we're going to have is going to be sort of uh, i'll be sat here and then a shot going this way that's language for men's grooming weekly where i'm going to do all that so this is all going to be well so i'll have like a light on me in the corner obviously i'll be sat here and then i'll all be this depth of field through here so then we'll probably have little bits of lights and accents of lights on the back wall so it gives that nice depth of perception in through here maybe even a little bit of light on the chair so it sort of lights up with maybe a little bit of a spotlight or something like that i think that's going to be quite good because it's obviously this will all be decorated i was trying to work out where the best place for this but it's and it's gonna be quite tricky because Doing it this, say if I was trying to record in either of these areas, I've got the door here and then there's the other door which goes up the stairs, so they, they wouldn't look great in the shot. If I did it going that way, I'm gonna have the window in the shot and that's gonna affect the lighting. So I think this area here going that way is probably gonna be the easiest way for it. I think say if we were to shoot it on and going back this way, I think it would just look too flat because it's just, it's just not gonna look like there's much depth of field, whereas obviously we have it on a bit of an angle. Could work really nicely. The guys at Johnny's there for Organized there. One of the guys who's done like filming for them in the past and knows sort of like how to set up scenes. We're gonna meet him on Tuesday. He's gonna give us advice on light boxes and how to get them set up in there and which is the best way to, to light it for the way we want. The best way to, to be able to soundproof it so we actually get decent quality sound. I think that's the main, when you watch videos on YouTube or if you watch videos Videos anywhere the sound quality is a massive difference when someone has a, as good sound quality it's so easy just to listen it's not even that it's easy to listen it's just that you don't think about it but when a video comes on and the sound quality is bad like oh, the amount of times where I just click off a video and the bad when it's bad audio so I think that's imperative it's got to be the audio has got to be good so yeah looking forward to this week and, and, and cracking up with then everything I think there's, there's gonna be a lot of things I need to sort now in the next few weeks I've, I've got to sort of like a booking system for myself and yeah, there's going to be a lot of things going on, but very excited for it all. So, thanks for watching. Have a brilliant rest of your week. If you haven't got, if you've got this far and you're not subscribed, what are you doing? Click that button right now. But thanks for watching today, guys. Have a brilliant rest of your day. Much love, Elliot.